so here I'm going to select only those that are like editable for example this one yeah I think this can be edited a bit and this could qualify a street photo so I would crop in a bit just keep only the necessary detail it's a uh, too much of a crop but I want to have some of the sky so what I do is I go ahead change the crop ratio to 1 cross 1 so that I can get more of vertical space um, sky is really good uh, I like the blue colors blue colors are good now that I have selected some more area I think this is the composition I'm going for I'm going here uh, a lot of things that are there inside the building as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the shadows so I'm going to quickly show masking in this new Lightroom here we have the sky we can actually mask the sky off reduce the highlights so we can see that we actually got the blue color back if you need to increase the saturation I would make it a bit bluer it's not realistic looking but a lot uh, better so here I have actually duplicated and inverted the mask which essentially selected the remaining area of the picture now I'm going back so uh, by selecting this I'm going to just reduce the black of this so what is the difference between the black slider and shadow shadow will bring up basically increase the exposure in this dark regions but black will focus on the black parts let's say I want to reduce only the black parts in this picture so I can actually reduce the black the shadow itself will reduce a bit but not too much all right so here we are able to see some more uh, shadow details so I think I used 13 millimeter Viltrox f1.4 it's a it's a very sharp lens in my opinion um, right I think I'm okay Okay with this look but I think it can be a bit brighter we can always see the histogram whether it requires uh, some adjustment I think it can still be moved a bit right so I'm moving it a right a bit right so you can see the image brighten up very well I did not like the sky to be this bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the brightness of the sky I reduce the exposure but what happens is you can see <coughs> the unmasked region around the tree area is bad literally bad so I'm just going to reduce a tiny bit without causing too much obviousness right so yeah uh, I think I'm good with this part so just to be consistent I'm going to apply another mask I'm going to apply a linear gradient I'm going to just reduce the exposure so that it doesn't look too obvious no I think it looks much better I'm going to use another mask so I, I do feel like the floor area just in front of this tiny tiny temple is um, too obvious so I, do, I want to reduce yeah now it looks much better reduce the brightness or exposure um, and also I think I can introduce a bit of vignetting so I will go close this mask area and I'm going to the vignette area here it is and I'm going to reduce the vin introduce vignetting so yeah I I'm okay with this one now so if you like this look basically you can copy the look to the other pictures so here in this case I I'm not too happy with the image oh, sorry I'm not too happy with this image so let's see this is another Fuji image shot with um, 13 millimeter f1.4 let's uh, go back to these images shot with Nikon Z6 II with uh, 24 to 200 millimeter uh, you must be seeing that a lot of images are out of focus uh, I don't want to mess with these pictures I do think that my wife did not press the autofocus button um, so I set my camera to back focusing so back focus button button because um, you see it's more convenient to use it with wildlife photography and it's become my 
go to method to shoot photos but you know the disadvantage is if you give the camera to anyone else they're going to mess it up at least now i think she remembered to click on it look at me i'm actually completely in focus i'm like okay the snake is not in focus but i'm happy with the way the image is looking so here a tiny bit of editing might help so if i'm too lazy i'm just gonna click on any of these presets but no i'm in the mood to edit today so what i'm going to do is i'm reducing the highlights so that i got back the details in the highlights now for the shadow area i will try to increase a tiny bit of shadow uh vignetting should help so where am i going to post these pictures right it's either going to be facebook or instagram so i'm going to crop it to one cross one so that i'm getting a lot more focus on the subject that's me all right so now that i have cropped a bit i'm going to level it up based on the seat line any leading line would do uh, in this case actually it's not a parallel plane in my opinion so i'm going to consider a vertical line to be my uh, go to yeah i will take my nose as the line that i'm going to straighten it up so now that my nose yeah you can see that my nose and this line is straight i'm going to go back introduce vignetting again it, vignetting can be found in lens correction just under the lens correction fx we can see that you can introduce vignetting now i think it's a very good image it's good to go actually but there is something i can do with the highlights something more i can do with the highlights so i'm going to go down a bit there is some more um flexibility see this part of the image is blown out so i'm going to just reduce the highlights a tiny bit more and finally i'm going to introduce some more dehaze effect so that it introduces um a contrast to the image i like it i like this image so if you want to compare from how it look from how it is looking now yeah this is how it looks now it obvious it obviously feels like uh this image on the left as shot is much brighter much better looking than the other one but in my opinion i think this is what i like um yeah so yeah this is much brighter now right moving to the next one actually i can do one more thing here i'm going to separate the subject that's me from the background so to do that i'm going to do this yeah now that i have selected my subject i'm going to duplicate an invert and i have selected the background after selecting the background i'm going to reduce the exposure yeah so now this has created a pop the difference is clear it's actually separating me and i'm going to increase the brightness of the image so what i have done is i want i wanted the overall highlight of the image to be low but the background highlight increase is giving you this kind of uh, pop in the image which i like yeah now it looks much better moving on to the second image yeah out of focus let's see out of focus okay this is taken by me and it still is out of focus okay so this is the fault of the camera even if i click out of focus all the images are out of focus so i can't blame my wife in this regard all right so this one looks nice uh let's see if there is any better images yeah this one looks very nice so i can see the the glitteriness of the snake i think it focused on the snake rather than her um let's see if i can 
are both snake and her focused. Yeah, I think this one can be salvageable. Let's try doing it. Wow, this one looks very nice. But actually, I want to go back to this one because the snake's head is a bit higher. So let's see. I'm going to level this image by leveling with her eye and maybe do the same thing when it comes to cropping. I want to crop to just her because yeah it's Instagram or Facebook vertical photos blah 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 right so <laughs> how do I improve this image right she is clearly out of focus but the snake is in focus so again as we did in the previous image I'm going to select the subject right uh, here this Okay, it has selected her but actually it has missed some spots so I'm going to add some more points so I'm going to click on the subject I'm going to select the subject oh add uh, some more objects so I'm going to add these all right now this part is actually missing so i'm going to add some more objects i'm going to choose this part this should do oh still add objects come on okay so in this case i'm going to choose the brush and i'm just gonna brush this part all right um, so yeah I have selected her now the masking part now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase okay I'm going to zoom in first to make sure that her eye is in focus I'm going to increase the clarity Clarity is 38, that's too much in my opinion, but still let it be there. Increase the sharpness. Um, yeah, it's clearly out of focus, but I'm going to increase a bit more. Yeah, let's see. So I'm going to go back. Oh my god, it has ruined her image. So I'm going to go back and see what can be reduced so maybe shortness can be reduced clarity i'm going to keep it as it is mm -mm -mm. so dehaze no all right so since we have done these i'm going to okay i'm not satisfied with the actual crop <clears throat> usually i would keep her eyes in the uh, with the rule of thirds but in this case we don't have much room to explore so this is how it is going to be now it's time to increase the highlights we reduce the highlights the main image i will go back to the masking duplicate and invert i'm going to reduce the exposure i'm going to increase the highlights and okay now look looks much better so when it comes to healing um, I'm basically going to choose these areas and let's see if this can be smoothed out right doesn't look that obvious does it yeah, on the left side, it doesn't look that obvious. But on this side, I'm not sure. It's it's a bit more obvious. But yeah, it's for our Instagram image. It looks really good. Now that I have cleared some more background, I'm going to go back to the mask. And yeah, let's see what can be done here. Okay, exposure. 
highlights down. Um, here I see that my wife's eyes are really looking really good. I think um, her watch is focused. Yeah, so the image of the snake is not that clear. I think this is what can be done as of now. But I would like to add some more black to it and I will actually increase the shadow. <clears throat> yeah, this is what happens if you increase too much shadow. So in this case, what I will do is I will actually brush it up a bit to reduce the exposure. I will add another mask, brush mask. And this should do the trick. And I'm going to reduce the shadow. Alright, so this looks much nicer. Now the, for the final part, since we have increased the, increased the clarity and stuff, her face is looking horrible with all the freckles popping out. To reduce that, I'm going to actually uh, put another brush mark, brush mask, and... I could go with just a face. Um, let's see. I could go with just a face, but I don't get too much creative control on that. So, since I have selected only the freckle part, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce the clarity and increase the feather. Okay, so much nicer, doesn't it? You don't see the freckles as much. Yeah, it's just the clarity that we have reduced, right? So not too much implication. Yep, looks much better. So let's compare this one and the previous original one. Yeah. She is totally out of focus. I like this one with more colors, more life to the right side image. Now moving on to the next picture. I'm actually kind of bored editing those pictures with the snake and out of focus. Z62 is definitely not a good camera. Okay, so here we are. Okay, this is a blown out image. If I don't have the second image, I'm going to show you how we can edit this blown out image. So first, reduce the highlights and see if this image is salvageable. It is definitely salvageable. So I'm going to go into this edit mode. I'm going to first align this picture to the straight line. Like I can see in the picture, you can see that this pole is my reference point because it's almost towards the center of the image as well as it's straight. Now, for the next part, we are going to crop up a tiny bit so that that board, which is half cut, is not in the image. Now, uh, yeah, it's much better. I'm going to reduce the exposure a bit. I'm going to select the sky. And the so sky is selected. I'm going to duplicate and invert the mask. So I'm going to reduce the highlights here even further. I'm going to reduce the exposure even further. And yeah, image looks much nicer. Now I'm going to increase the shadows. It looks like a HDR image, which we don't actually want. Uh, we would want to go with dehaze a tiny bit. Yeah, looks much nicer. Uh, let's go back to this previous mask of sky. I'm going to reduce the highlight. And uh, 
reduce a tiny bit of exposure, increase the saturation. Let's see where the saturation is. Now it's more blue. So when you compare this picture with the previous one, let's say for example, yeah. So this is the actual picture and this is the edited one, right? It looks much nicer. Um, here I do think that this part has too much of light. I don't want this to be in focus, rather this actual sh subject should be in focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply another mask. Yeah, so mask you might find it as a very tedious thing to do, but it gives you a lot of control. Um, so I'm going to add more add object. I do think that I selected that, but somehow Adobe algorithm doesn't select everything. In this case, I'm going to choose um, brush. Yep. Let me choose the brush. Just brush it up. So why I'm selecting this is to reduce the exposure a tiny bit. Yeah, tiny bit. Yep. Much better. You don't even see the difference, right? Yes. So this looks good to me. Now moving on to this one. This is actually low. This one will have more flexibility. For example, you see here you are able to see all the characters on the right corner. Now if I'm going to do a sync between these two images. So I'm going to select these two. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit the sync. I'm going to select all the mask and I'm going to synchronize. This is going to make the right image exactly it's the left image but with much less exposure. I'm going to just increase the exposure to see how it looks. So let's be here. So this one and this one looks almost identical with much clearer foreground. Alright, so moving on to the next image. Oh, this is one of the temple in Lampang. It's called Wat Chari Sao. So there are 20 such stupas in this area. It's, um, it's a beautiful place to be in. I like this picture. I think this is... I'm going to pick this one out of these two. It's always good to take two pictures in every place that you visit. It gives you more opportunity. I wouldn't say you need to take more than two, but two is okay just in case you need to have some control. <clears throat> I'm going straight to the highlights here. Just by reducing the highlights, it looks more than beautiful. So let's see, there are some uh, presets here for Adaptive Sky. I'm going to try some of them. Blue Drama, so beautiful. Dark Drama, Neon, Storm Clouds, Sunrise and Sunset. I think I like this one. I do want to have a bit more saturation in this. Uh, it feels like it's too pale. Yeah, now it looks much better. I think what what they have done is um, added a tiny bit of gradient to the image. Um, I'm gonna increase the tint a bit more. Now it looks much better. Uh, temperature. So cool, right? So it doesn't look like sky. All right, so um, so what has happened here is they have used uh, something like split toning. So the highlights are in the purple color while the shadows are in the dark blue. So that's what is happening here. Now I'm going to leave it at, at this. Maybe increase the saturation a tiny bit. Um, if I reduce the highlight, you can see the purple disappearing. So, yeah, that's, that's how it is. Now, I have applied this. Let's see any other preset is suitable for this. No, I'm going to delete, sorry, duplicate and invert the same mask and I'm going to work on the rest of the region. So here, uh, I want to reduce the highlight a tiny bit. Um, 
increase the shadows, actually increase the exposure. Yeah. And finally, dehaze the crap out of the, this image. Yeah. Much better. I like this. It's crazy what you can do with this kind of a good image, with good lighting and such. Right. Looks wonderful. When it comes to composition, I think this composition is okay. Now we are moving to the next picture. This is again one more beautiful one. I'm going to straighten it a bit based on the horizontal surface. Um, here we can see that this line is straight. I'm going to level it up with the horizontal line. Now, I don't want this car and I want this to be in one cross one. Uh, let's say square cropping. Yeah, this looks much better. Um, I'm going to crop it. Yes. So here again, I'm going to do something. Uh, selecting the sky and... Do the sunset thingy. Let's see how it behaves. Alright, it looks good though. I'll reduce the exposure a bit. Um, okay, I don't like it, so I want blue drama. I've taken up blue drama, dark drama is too too much. Um, with this blue drama, actually, I can reduce the sky uh, highlights and increase the saturation a bit. So now it's completely blue and I'm going to ch duplicate and invert the mask. Now I'm, I want to reduce the highlights. I want to increase the shadows. This is not enough. So I have increased the exposure. I wouldn't start with increasing the exposure for any reason. Actually I can adjust this leveling a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> now the next part will be dehazing. Yeah, looks much nicer. Um, so, what happened when I dehazed is even the sky got selected, which I don't want. So I'm going to select only this mask that's without the sky and dehaze only the bottom part. Looks much better now. Let's compare with our previous or the original image. So if you do this, this was the original image, this is the edited one, looks much nicer. So, yeah, this is the another one. Let's move on to the actual temple, this is the actual temple. These are the places where the stupas were. This is another uh, view of the same stupa. Let's see how this one is. Um, okay, so here they have some um, donation area. So let me choose what are the things I need actually. I just realized if you hit Z, it will zoom in. So don't hit Z. Okay, since we are playing with sky, I want to consider this to be my next image. Why I have taken it with such a composition? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But... Most likely it is to cover the maximum surface area. Here I want to go with blue drama. Right, again reducing the highlights. Actually sunset wouldn't be bad. It looks amazing. Alright, so reducing the highlights. We are getting a really good cloud detail here. And actually we can increase the saturation for this image. Which will make it very deep purple yeah without any blotchiness and one more thing we can do is play with uh, the temperature uh, I'm supposed to do everything over there uh, let's go to the masking area so I want to play with the temperature here so that only the cloud part is it's like half blue and half purple and I want to increase the tint of purple and I want to increase the saturation level as well yeah now it looks super unnatural but this is what I'm going for
I'm just gonna increase the highlight a tiny bit so that I have this blown out highlights on the right side. Now coming back to this uh, this area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate and invert the mask and I'm, I'm going to create another brush mask. So I'm going to make this brush huge. Uh, let's see if I can reduce the feather. Yes, I can reduce the feather. Just want a tiny bit of feather going on here. Yeah, so basically I feel like this area is too bland for my taste. So I'm going to darken them. All right, and maybe give a purple tint to them. So let's see, uh, we can reduce the highlights, reduce the exposure and maybe increase some tint. Yep. Looks more purple, doesn't it? So increase the saturation. And um, when it comes to green color, we will have to go back to this one. Let's work on the greens. Uh, let's see. Green looks green, does it? No. So I'm going to increase the hue to darker green and I'm going to reduce the yellow to orange and saturation of green will reduce a tiny bit. Yeah. So okay. As a final attempt, I'm going to actually crop it out. I'm not too satisfied with how the image looks, so I'm going to keep this two parts the center area and I'm going to crop everything deep. Sometimes you will have to play with stuff like these. Um, so it still has got the blue in the sky and purple on the right. Um, let's go back to this first mask and let's see if I can reduce the tint to get more blue. Yes, here on the left it's more blue. Now on these area, what I actually want is a brighter image. So I increase the exposure. And I'm going to dehaze the crap out of it again. Yep, I like this one much better compared to the previous image. Now, coming back to this one, we can do the same um, to this one and that one, but I'm going to skip them for now. I'm kind of bored editing the same kind of images. So this is actually Amazon Cafe. <laughs> And we can see that the interiors of this cafe is mind-blowing. So let me show you here what I mean. So I have reduced the blown out region. So it's very clear here. And I'm going to increase the shadows. And I'm going to increase the overall exposure. This is how it was looking. Absolutely stunning. Very good place. So... Um, I wouldn't want to go beyond this, but my mind says there's a huge potential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce highlights even further, so like this. Now, once I reduce the highlights even further, I'm going to dehaze. Right. This gave us a beautiful image, but look at the noise, right? There's too many noise here. I'm going to add a tiny bit of noise reduction. By tiny bit, I mean 50% noise reduction. It's like a painting. Wow, well, who doesn't like a painting, right? Uh, I don't. Well, this is a nice looking image to post it in Instagram, isn't it? So compared to this, this is what we get. So that's how the images are like really, really nice from Fuji. Thanks, Fuji. It's got wonderful, okay, so yeah, it, it's got terrible dynamic range. But yeah, I mean, the ability to process them up to this extent, it's really good. So even this one, if I just increase the highlights, uh, sorry, reduce the highlights and increase the shadows, you get a wonderful image, don't you? And so maybe I can increase a bit more exposure. The still is amazing. 
and dehaze it. Yep, beautiful. Okay, with a ton of noise though. Alright, moving on to the next one. Oh, here I'm going to reduce the highlights again, increase the shadows. So this is a lovely place too. These chairs were hidden basically. See, so, yeah, these chairs were basically hidden. I brought them back to life and increasing the exposure will give you more interesting view on how this image was and how the image is right now. Yeah, so it's it's wonderful to see the potential of Fujifilm X-T4 images. This image I really liked, so I'm going to edit this one. Um, again, lowering the shadows, increasing, sorry, lowering the highlights and increasing the shadows. It's more than sufficient for this image, but I'm going to dehaze it a bit and increase exposure also reducing the highlights this image looks very nice very neat indeed um, maybe a bit more dehaze yep this is where we're gonna stop <clears throat> maybe a tiny bit of noise reduction would do so i'm going to do a tiny bit of noise reduction yep perfect i like this i like this don't worry about, you know, if, if I go to the histogram and just properly expose it, it will be too much. So I'm just gonna stick with this for now and uh, maybe, yeah, maybe a tiny bit of highlight reduction. And one thing you could do to increase the, vin increase the focus on the subject is by reducing the vignetting. Looks much nicer, doesn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, let's go back. Alright. Okay, so uh, this is another place we went to. It was so beautiful. Uh, this is called... I, I actually forgot the name. It's, it's a Thai name. Alright, so let me... You can watch the upcoming videos to see where this location is. Mm, here it's instant, basically to... Okay, first I'm exposing it to the right. Yep, all the highlights are okay. Now I'm not clipping anything. Now I have reduced the highlights. I'm going to dehaze it a bit. Dehaze brings out a lot of... Um, sky features as you can see here and making this uh, rock look much better but the problem is the shadows so I, I brought in a bit more shadow you can see wow how so good looks so good so i'm going to i have actually increased a lot of shadows i reduced a tiny bit of blacks now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the sky and I'm going to do a uh, blue drama. No, blue drama is too much. So I'm going to increase the highlight a tiny bit. So it looks, look at the gradient, so beautiful. I like it, I like it as it is. So I'm going to keep it. And um, the only thing what I don't like is actually the highlight control over here. So I'm going to duplicate and invert the mask and I'm going to reduce the highlight even further. And maybe even the temperature a tiny bit lower. Yeah, looks much nicer. Looks much nicer. Yep, I'm gonna stick with this now. Um, so, yeah, this one is good to go for now. Even though the car looks a lot more bluish, I think it goes with the theme. Like, if you have a lot of blue sky, what would you expect out of that, right? The reflection on the car. Um, so, yeah, it's minus 18 temperature. Maybe I can keep it as min keep it at minus 15. Yeah, now it looks much nicer. Mm, so moving on. So how would I export them, right? Like, I'm not exporting each image one by one, but rather I would do a batch export later. 
um i'm going to select some more let's see wow okay here they are so yeah these are the kind of images that i wanted to edit today okay let's start with one of these right i think this is actually a panorama one two and three this is a panorama <clears throat> so let's go ahead and edit this panorama um, let's start with reducing the highlights again yep we got a bit, we got a bit more of the sky area sky and clouds i think dehazing would be more than sufficient for this image but i was wrong so i'm dehazing to an extent and i'm going to increase the shadows uh, without without collapsing the shadows beneath so i have reduced it to 50 sorry i have increased it to 50 now i'm going to select the sky and not without playing too much with the sky what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate and invert so basically i have selected this and i want to dehaze this a further bit like this and also increase the exposure as you can see the cloud formation on the sky is going to cause the shadows on the landscape and i want that to be very clear as well as um, the shadows in this area exposed and the colors in that area exposed so i'm going to increase the saturation a bit i'm going to increase the warmth not really um all right i think a tiny bit would be sufficient maybe two yeah now for the greens um so why i increase that right so in this region it was completely blue i don't want all blue so i increased a tiny bit uh regarding the dehaze for the uh, mask area 25 should do now coming to this part you can see that it's completely out of focus because i was using f1.4 all the time it doesn't mean that it's a bad image you know when when all the panorama is done i think we'll get a good really good image so i'm going to increase clarity a tiny bit wow tiny bit can make a lot of difference i just increased a tiny bit so this is how the original image used to look and this is how it looks now i'm going to increase the exposure a tiny bit here yep all right it looks okay to me it's not the best image and i'm going to sync them all after syncing i think we'll get a much clearer uh picture let's see i'm going to i'm just going to photo merge to panorama so you get multiple options here cylindrical um perspective spherical let's check out one by one whichever one you like we can select them okay so either it's going to be spherical or cylindrical I think the way I did it is um, cylindrical so I think we'll be going for so what I'm trying to see is like how much more of usable image that we can get and let's see fill edges let's try to fill edges and see how it's filling the edges if I zoom in actually not bad except for this part these two parts are amazing the bottom are filled wonderfully only the top layer is pathetic um, let's do a boundary warp nah doesn't look good so i'm going to remove the fill edges uh, i'm just going to try it again okay so if possible we will have to cut this part 
right? But otherwise, I think... Let's try auto cropping. So if you crop it, then it's going to be like this. The image looks fantastic, but it's just like uh, really bad. We can crop it ourselves after, you know, exporting this image. So that's what I'm going to do. Auto settings, create stack. I don't want stack. I want to merge the images for a new image. So the new image will pop up over here. Yep, as we expected, the new image has popped up over here. And we can edit this image further. So this is what exactly I'm going to do now. I'm going to remove this pathetic excuse of an image of a crop. So I'm going to do a custom and remove the lock, expand it to the corners and there we get the image. So I'm going to crop from the bottom as well, keeping the horizon at the center of the image. So yes, this looks much more nicer and beautiful. Um, yep, yeah, I'm okay with this. Maybe choose the sky again <laughs> and duplicate and invert and I'm going to reduce the blacks a tiny bit and increase the exposure a little more and maybe clarity and dehaze yeah looks much nicer Oh yeah, so I can actually increase some more saturation as well. So the greens can pop up a tiny bit. And regarding the greens, these greens are actually not salvageable in my opinion. I'm just gonna leave them as it is. Regarding this black spots, no, I'm not going to do anything. Let them be there. Yeah. So this is my idea of uh, making a panorama. But anyway. Let's come back to this one. This is an awesome, awesome peak. So I like this peak for a couple of reasons. You can see in this image that this part ruins the image in my opinion. So I actually moved a tiny bit to capture only this part of the peak. But the horizon was not leveled, I believe. All right, so I'm just gonna reduce it a tiny bit and I'm going to, uh, okay, the aspect ratio is locked. I'm going to move it a little away from all the things. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to extend it, making it look like a <clears throat> tiny bit more panoramic. This image can be edited in multiple, multiple ways. So before all those, I'm going to <clears throat> do a preset. Let's see, video creative. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I don't like anything. Let's go back to this initial sky thing. Blue dramatic. Wow, it looks wonderful. I like it. Let's go back to this mark masking area. Uh, if I'm going to go to do a sunset, it's gonna be all purple. Not too much of a fan of it. Oh, uh, this is neon. Oh, not suitable for this part. I'm going to duplicate an invert. I'm going to dehaze the, dehaze the crap. So once I had dehaze the crap, I'm putting it at 50 and increase the exposure. Yeah, this looks much better. And uh, reduce the highlights. Yeah, we got all the left out parts. Now this looks a lot like um, how to say, it's not organic, it's more sharpened, I want to remove some sharpening, so I'm going here to sharpness, I'm going to reduce some sharpening, increase the clarity, increase the texture, um, yeah, that should do. Now coming back to the image itself, so I want a bit more saturation in this mask part, so I'm going to increase some more saturation. 
why it looks so green and blue and whatnot, right? It's so vibrant. I'm going to keep it at 30, not too much. I don't want to go overboard such stuff. So I'm going to increase shadows a bit, reduce the blacks a bit. So it gives all the peaks out over here. So if you see the actual image, oh, before that, let's reduce the highlights on the sky a tiny bit. Yeah, it looks wonderful. And maybe increase the shadows a bit. Yeah, so now the sky looks amazing. Or maybe, yeah. All right, this would do. Maybe increase some saturation. Yeah, now the sky is actually blue. This is what I was, uh, this is what I want. All right, now, um, yeah, I'm happy with the exposure. This looks wonderful. Let's compare this image with the previous one. I did not do any brush masking. I let the software decide where to mask and where not to mask, depending on the sky area. And uh, let's try to compare this with the original image. So you can see this is the original image. It looks pale compared to this vibrant, beautiful, beautiful image. Right? So once this is done, let me move on to the other one. Uh, let me see if I can actually copy these the same uh, edits to the other ones. I'm going to sync it without cropping it. So synchronize. So once I sync this, um, we can see that these images as well are being changed. Yep, it has changed, finally. Well, look at this. It's too blue for my taste, so I'm going to change it a tiny bit. Um, like I said, I did not like this part, so I'm just gonna crop it. Or maybe even do this kind of a cropping. Because that part is important. So... Yep, this should do. And for this, this looks nice as it is. I'm just gonna increase a tiny bit of temperature. Yep, this looks wonderful. Actually, my bad. I should have gone into the mask and then there I should have increased the temperature. Yeah, this looks wonderful. And again, the same thing over here, I think it will work. Um, let's go back to the mask and keep it at 5. Yeah, much better now. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Now, <clears throat> this looks like a HDR image. Um, I don't want this exact look, so... I'm going here. Yeah, <clears throat> this was the issue there. So what could have been done rather is just reduce the highlights. This should be the perfect way of editing rather than increasing the clarity for the clouds. Increasing clarity will ruin your image. Um, that was pretty deep actually. <clears throat> I would rather like to have reduced highlights yeah this looks much better and maybe tiny bit of whites uh, nothing further actually maybe a tiny bit of dehaze okay bad dehaze bad <laughs> right actually I can merge these edits over to the other pictures um, can sync synchronize uh, merge yeah so we can see that uh, the sky is not as bad as it used to be which is good now going back to 
the other pictures, right? Let's see where we can go. Alright, this one. These are stupas on the top of the mountain. Um, yeah, I don't want to edit this because I don't like these natural stuff laying around. Sorry, artificial stuff laying around. I would go start to edit this one. Actually, this, lo this one looks exactly like this one, the previous one. So let me try sync up the edits with the other one. Um, right, this one. Okay, sync settings, crop masking is yes, definitely masking. All right, it did not work earlier. Something happened to it, um, but um, we can again mask it. Let's see, synchronize. Yeah, look at this, right? From that to this, it's an amazing. Um, feel right look at this this is just pale well this is vibrant my wife likes this kind of an edit so I'm gonna keep it this way now moving on let's try to sync these two sync synchronize and let's see the output yep so good this is what I was going for taking that image yeah this is wonderful so i'm going to okay this is again a panorama i think this is the top part all right so this is a panorama it's a vertical panorama actually um first i want to edit the okay let, let me try the other way i'm going to start editing after um, i make this panorama so photo merge panorama Let's see how it is going to generate. Wow, it has done a wonderful job. So let's try filling edges. I just hope it doesn't. Yeah, it did a very bad job. I'm going to just auto crop it. Wow, this is, this looks amazing. All right, um, merge. Or maybe spherical? No, cylindrical definitely perspective okay this looks nice too all right so if it is a vertical stack it's going to be perspective so it's going to merge so once they are merged we'll get a additional image over here so this is the actual so this is the image that we get out of merging them and uh, once we do the sync between these two let's try to sync them synchronize it's gonna be terrible in my opinion uh, no actually it's not um, let's try doing this okay not worth it I'm going to increase the exposure here and I'm going to reduce the highlight okay this is bad this is a really hard image to edit mm, I'll have to manually brush them up okay so here I'm going to do on brushing I'm just going to focus on the highlights highlighted part uh, just reduce the highlights, reduce the overall exposure. Mm, looks much nicer. But uh, let's see if uh, if we are going to revert this image, right? Okay, this looks nicer. For me, it looks very nice. The only thing that's bothering me is the highlights over here. So let me go back to this one I'm going to reduce the exposure reduce increase the shadows 
Yeah, now it looks much better. And maybe a bit more dehaze. Right, so a tiny bit of clarity. Yeah, this looks wonderful. And going back to this one, uh, we can reduce the exposure. Actually increase the exposure. Yeah, looks good. Looks great. Maybe bring down the shadows a bit. Or maybe just the blacks down a bit. Shadows a bit. And dehaze a bit more. Increase the dehaze a bit more. Let's see where the dehaze. Yeah, looks really good. I like this image. Now, this is the panorama, and this is the panorama. Sorry, these two images combined to this panorama. But actually, I want to do a separate image for each of them. So I'm going to just do a sync between these two. I don't want. I don't have to crop, but yeah. So I'm just merging these syncs. This looks wonderful too. So I can still reduce the highlights. And I can even reduce the exposure a tiny bit. Uh, maybe work on the mask part. Yeah, now it looks great. So I wouldn't be posting both the images together, but yeah looks great so going to the next one wow this looks very nice too these are nice pictures um from the strip mm, the first thing i'm going to do is delete this mask delete all right so after deleting that mask, I'm going to click on this, reduce the exposure, reduce the yeah, shadows a bit, and highlights are already reduced. Reduce the exposure a tiny bit too. Um, maybe reduce this exposure a tiny bit. As we can see, the original picture is that already good but only thing is this part is blown up over here actually so how to reduce that right so let me go back to this one and i'm it's it's all with the mask thing so i will go here to the haze and shadows okay so this one is considered a shadow area. Mm -hmm. Okay, reducing this exposure, just increasing the shadow and reducing the blacks. Okay, now it's making more sense, right? So basically we got all the detail necessary in this area. So exposure is the culprit here right um yeah not too much so shadows are raised whites are lowered the only remaining part is the dehaze right once the dehaze is done it looks wonderful too uh let me bring up the blacks a bit more yeah looks great <clears throat> looks really wonderful uh regarding the sky i think we could increase the saturation a bit Yeah, looks great. I like this. <clears throat> Regarding the composition, it can be uh, one to one. Yeah, so let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. I like the previous one. Yep, 
this one is great. Now, yeah, this is a bit tricky. Now, sync, synchronize. All right, see, this is a bit tricky. I like the fact that there is vignetting. There should be vignetting. Let's introduce more vignetting. Lens correction, transform. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, vignetting. Yep. Um, going to. Yeah, here. Shadows. Doesn't need to be increased so much. All I want to do is bring up the saturation here and maybe reduce the temperature a bit. Yeah, I want it to look blue and yellow, not like brown and yellow. And regarding the sky, I'm going to reduce the highlights a bit more. So the blue is visible and exposure a bit less. Yeah, now it looks very nice compared to the actual image you can see here it's all blown up but here no this again is great now moving to the next ones i like this image all right that's a wonderful image mm, so what can be done right i want to start from the beginning all right, before that, let's sync this up. Cancel. Actually, you need to select the one that you want to keep it as the reference, as the default image, and then when you select it, you get all the mass. Now, let's see how it looks. Not a fan, though. So let's uh, reset this. Okay, let's reset this. Reset. All right, let's start from the beginning. Um, even the crop, I think, can be reset. No. So let's start from the beginning. I am going to start with the mask of the sky. So looks like. Um, yeah, you can see the mountains are not selected. So just the sky, um, reducing the highlights is risky because the mountains are not selected. And so the shadows can go, maybe this blue drama will help, yeah, but not too much, right? So I'm going to keep the highlights as it is, I'm going to increase the shadows, no, actually increase the exposure a bit, yeah, this helps. Now, coming back to the remaining part, um, duplicate, invert. All right, so here I'm going to do a couple of things. Delete, actually. Let me delete this. All right, so this is what I want to duplicate and invert. Now exposure high, now highlights low, and what else? Uh, dehaze, dehaze my friend, dehaze. All right, so let's see the output. So how it used to be, this is how it is now. Let's turn this out. And um, there's something lacking here. Probably, I think vignetting could help. Let's go to the vignetting part. Um, here it is. Amount of vignetting. Mm, yeah, I should do. Now the actual picture that I want to edit is this one. Let's see what's the difference. This looks bad. This looks better. And we're gonna start from the beginning. The sky. Exposure down a tiny bit. Um, temperature, color, saturation increase a lot. Uh, highlights down a bit. 
shadows raise a bit exposure okay everything looks fine here now the next mask is going to be the subject select people so my wife will be selected entire person oh where's where are the arms <laughs> oh my god no cancel all right so this mask is going to be deleted uh, I'm going to select the subject no this is also getting deleted selecting based on the brush so first step is to select the person So this is important, why? Because wherever the, whenever there are people in the image, they should be given the most focus. So this image is to say that my wife was there at that location. So it's important that she's highlighted. Let's see how we can highlight her without ruining the image itself. So I want to separate her from the rest of the image. Um, once I have selected her, duplicate and invert. So, yeah, we can see that only half of her leg is selected. So I'm going to delete this. Late mask to inverted. Select this. Um, yeah. um, let's see her hair. So, okay. Now, invert, duplicate and invert. Yeah, that should be fine. <clears throat> now we are going to reduce the exposure a bit. Uh, I'm going to make it a fit. Yeah, so here she's already selected. And... Um, yeah. So exposure is reduced a tiny bit, um, shadows are increased, blacks are reduced, and yeah, I think this should do. And for her, I'm going to raise up the shadows a tiny bit, and increase exposure a tiny bit, that should do. And overall, now we can edit this picture so she is actually separated and going to her mask <clears throat> I can actually reduce the highlights so she is not too obvious All right looks much pleasing and what else can be done to this image I like it as it is let's see looks not much but yeah you can see the amount of editing goes right yeah um i think i can increase a bit this looks wonderful moving on what other images can we do let's see so this is actually on the way back on the way back we were able to see all these and we got some nice pictures so this is actually the road i'm actually leveling it up for this straight line on the road so this is how it is going to be and let's see we can reduce the highlights again increase the exposure and shadows to get this plain bland image then we can dehaze this yeah we get a wonderful summer image mm, can reduce the temperature a bit not to the extent that it looks like it's winter and again what i feel like is this part has too much exposure i'm gonna do do a gradient um gradient 
mask yeah here so this should help reducing some exposure over there and focusing the image to this part now that, that I have done that I'm going to um, do a vignetting actually I can do vignetting by introducing a radial gradient so I'm going to do this way let's see yep and I'm going to reduce exposure actually <clears throat> duplicate invert I'm going to reduce an exposure yeah this looks much better all right so this one we can actually increase the exposure a tiny bit maybe dehaze a bit all right all right looks much better you can see the difference between these two all right yeah so yeah if it looks the same after you edit it there is no point in editing right so here there we are actually on the truck we're going back on the way i'm still filming on the way back look at it i just reduced the highlights and it looks wonderful um just gonna increase a tiny bit of exposure and dehaze the crap again dehaze is my friend you know usually dehaze is considered to be enemy i don't know if someone considers an enemy try to make the dehaze slider as your friend because it's excellent the power of dehaze right the power of dehaze yep i think we'll reduce the i'll keep the exposure reduced looks really good looks really good so i'm just going to level this part again uh, like this and done now uh, maybe do a one cross one crop like this and put this in the middle right now it's more than done right um let's see what other images can be salvaged i don't think so now food i love food i enjoy thai food especially so let's edit some food all right so this we can do a crop of one cross one and yeah i think we have a reasonably sized image and i'm going to crop a tiny bit more tiny bit more i'm going to cut a tiny bit tiny portion of the foot out of the picture because my framing was bad i admit it now coming to this let's see the power of increasing the shadows zoom it's bad there's no power to it right so let's reduce it and exposure well look at the golden color fried egg omelet it's it's just beautiful pure beautiful um so what can make this better is dehazing it and increasing the exposure again and reducing the highlights again so now it looks wonderful it looks a bit dirty because of the dehaze so i'm gonna bring this out a little bit more yeah oh uh, actually it looks nice with this yeah i think um we are pretty much done with this image here let's see if we can introduce some noise reduction here yeah but even with the noise reduction the texture is not gone if you need some more clarity on this image we can actually increase a tiny bit of clarity yeah looks wonderful so let's see what we have done here a bit more contrast looks beautiful actually i will increase some more saturation to it yeah looks beautiful yeah, beautiful beautiful yep so a tiny bit of healing would help here and there 
Mm, my bad, my bad. It's like this. Um, so yeah, here and there, just tidying it up. Yep. And also, in this case, vignette can be increased to make it a bit more dramatic. You can see here, it's, it's giving a wonderful feel to the image if you increase the vignetting. Right, so yeah, beautiful. So if you compare with the previous image, how it used to be and how it is now, that's wonderful. And let's see if it can be enhanced any further. I don't think so. And we're just gonna keep it as it is. So yeah, a couple more images. Straight up straight out of the camera, I fell in love with this image, but we're gonna make it much better. Lee Hayes, the crap again. Right. Yep. Uh, yeah, look at these. Right. So beautiful. I'm gonna cut only to this green part because that brown part was distra distracting. And I'm gonna rotate this image a tiny bit so that the leading lines are actually towards up yeah now it looks much better a uh, tiny bit of texture tiny bit of texture here and there oh uh, where's the texture texture here yeah. and uh, some more clarity yeah. looks beautiful this is actually shot with 30 millimeter f 2.8 macro lens and the highlights can be reduced a tiny bit um yeah looks look at the histogram histogram is balanced perfectly and yeah i think it's a beautiful image now coming to vignetting i would want to reduce a bit so i'm going to add some more vignetting and increase the brightness a bit yeah now it's beautiful the temperature on the other hand can be reduced no, it looks fine. It looks fine. Coming to another uh, food editing. Let's uh, level it up first. Alright, so I think it's level now. And go to sliders, exposure. It's too bright, yeah. It's too bright. Yeah. So. I'm gonna increase the shadows. It's okay, so so. But what we're gonna do here is increase the dehaze. Look at the colors coming into the picture, right? Look at the colors. Man, it's so droolable, ain't it? So, actually, a bit more. Yep. So once you increase the dehaze, it will give you everything you need. A tiny bit of texture, tiny bit of clarity. <clears throat> now the tricky part is actually the noise reduction is gonna make this like a painting, but still retaining some of the uh, the texture to the image. Detail, colors, everything looks fine. Sharpening a tiny bit, but otherwise it looks wonderful. Let's see, let's compare the original image. So colorless, so pale. But look at this, it's so beautiful. Um, regarding the green color, I want to change the hue of the green. So I'm going to change it to a much green looking image. Not that. Um, just this one. So, and the saturation can be increased a tiny bit. So these part of the green are changed to dark green. Mm, vignetting again. It's it's beautiful to have some kind of a vignetting. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, look at this, look at this slowly. Oh beautiful. All the water droplets here and there. Such a wonderful image. 
I think it can be a bit warmer. Yep, I like it. I like it. Let me know if you like it. Right, so these exported images can be found in my next video. Alright, so once again, to review all the images that we edited today. Uh, one, two... Um, and we can see that if I edit any image, it's gonna be with this, this stuff. It means I changed some exposure, this means I edited some cropping. Yeah, stuff like these. This is my first, this is my second. Um, this is my third, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, these are wonderful images. I like the color imbalance that looks, that adds something to the image. Like every sky is being blue is so cliche when it's got some more, some other things, uh, some other color, it looks much more beautiful. And here in these images, we tend to appreciate how well the dynamic range of Fujifilm is and how much shadow details that we can recover from the Fujifilm images. Um, so like like this for an example, the actual car was completely black and we were able to recover the reflection on this car after we edit a, a tiny bit, right? We brought back the exposure, the shadows and we got this car looking great with all the reflection going on. And when it comes to these mountain peaks, uh, we can see that it's just beautiful with this panorama. So don't be afraid to take images, three images, and just, you know, we can sequence it in Lightroom to get those beautiful panoramic images. We can put that as the banner in your YouTube channel or in your Facebook. This again is like a vertical panorama. This for example, yes, this is a vertical panorama. And moving on, yeah, these are some beautiful, beautiful images from our trip. Uh, what else? Yeah, this one, for example, this one showed like how we can use the radial and the linear gradient for our advantage. This one, for example, how crop can be used to our advantage. Uh, what else we have? Food photography, not, a, not the best. I would say I have done a much better job, but this is shot in a hurry. Just appreciate how how uh, good the food was to eat, right? Yeah, so yeah, this is a wonderful picture, I would say. There, there are a lot more, but this one, I would actually crop it to this level just to show that, hey, this macro lens is amazing, but I want to keep it here because these leaves are to be appreciated here, not just the lens and the image itself. All right, so have a wonderful time. Yep, peace.